Okay, what is up, you guys? So, I decided to uh, skip the intro and just go right to uh, this video where I am going to take this LTD. <laughs> this is the M1000 um, that I have. This is a, let's take a look, 2005. LTD M1000 Deluxe. So, the issue with this guitar, and I've already kind of cleaned up this whole area, is that it had a lot of scratches on it. So, I actually, and you know, it's hard to kind of see, but I basically did all this earlier. Uh, and you can still see that I have some swirl scratches there but I don't care I mean the thing's so old so but I wanted to tackle this right here you know because it's literally from here through here all the way around so I have my trusty DeWalt and this is the buffing pad that I use at the very end so I'll keep that on the side for now I am going to use three buffers and they start with hmm, I am missing the one so what I'm gonna do is start off by letting you guys know that I ended up getting two different kits right so here's kit number one which was this uh, polishing little foam that attaches to your drill and that came with this Meguiar Scratch X kit um, so you can either get one of these on Amazon uh, I want to say this is a four inch pad and then you can just get the larger Meguiar's Scratch X uh, or just get the kit which includes these two and I want to say this little rag came with it too um, I'm pretty sure one of these little rags like this. So that's kit number one. Kit number two was literally this other attachment, which has a Velcro on one side. And it comes with a little foam pad with the opposite side of the Velcro. So that way, this is this side is just too rigid and too stiff. And you just take that, put it right on there. And now you have something with a little extra give, right? And that actually comes with all of these Velcro um, little pads with different grit ratings. So these are really deep. So I don't care how it actually starts off um, as long as it kind of clears up a little bit and if you can see here let's see if you can see it's kind of like a mirror ish view to it and that's exactly what it ended up when i cleared all this earlier today and then wanted to just leave this end for you guys to check out so um because these are actually deeper here than it was here i am going to start off with a 240 grit which looks really crazy. <laughs> so again, you know, here is the original part of the kit that starts that uh, you get. Then you Velcro that on there. And then you put the 240 grit on top of that. And then that gets Velcroed on. And I will be using my DeWalt drill. Take that. Attach that. Have a giant battery with it. So let's start. But dude, these are bad. Slide this over just a little bit this way. No, this way. So 240 is pretty harsh to some degree. <laughs> so I don't care about the cover. 
but I do want to try to get as much of this out as possible because All right, so let me just take off the 240, and now I'm on to the 600. These are really deep. Again, deep as balls. I ended up going through the wood a little bit, but geez, I feel like I needed to. All right. Then I'll switch over from the 600 to the 1000. 1,000 right there. And if someone says that I stripped the lacquer and now you see some of the wood, just know that's actually still sealed underneath it. And again, I don't care. This isn't a main guitar. This is just a guitar that I use from time to time. And although this is the back, I actually just wanted to get some of that craziness off it looked crazy all right so now i'm switching from 1000 to 5000 and then this is just going to make it that much smoother And that's just going around just a bit. Again, that's the 5,000. And now I'm switching over to the 10,000.
All right, so you wouldn't, again, you wouldn't necessarily start off with a 240 grit because that definitely takes out too much. But again, these scratches were so deep that I had to go with something a little harsher. Um, and it's actually just really smooth now, which is crazy. All right. And that's all I kind of look for, especially with this thing. You know, it didn't have to be perfect, but if I could get at least some of that deep gouges that, I mean, they're still there. You can still see it. It's crazy. Okay, so now, aside from just removing the 10,000 grit, I'll actually remove this entire bit and then throw on the the buffing pad and then this is where the Meguiar's Scratch X comes into play and just pour it out throughout your area that you worked on I may be going a little overboard but that is okay I have more than enough and you want to start off buffing it slowly uh, that way it doesn't just spit out all over the place and you just want to get it all over the area where you were just you know and sometimes especially with uh, Meguiar's sometimes you just have to do it a few times just to get all of the I mean, this is literally what's used on cars, so. Although well, you can't really see it just yet, but again, you just buff it in there. All around to the areas that you can, of course, visually see where you went. And then, you know, after a while of you kind of just working it in, then you can just go higher speed. Just keep in mind that you want to always move it around just because you don't want it to get warm or hot just in one spot. Now I'll actually touch the body to see if there are any spots that I'm kind of concentrating too much on. And it actually is pretty fine, so let's keep going with that. Again, I'm not trying to be perfect and getting it to some crazy showroom condition. But, you know, keep in mind that this thing was awful. I mean... I know whose guitar it was, too. And uh, he must have had a belt buckle with horns on that thing. Because the, the amount of deep gouges this thing had were just crazy. some of that off there and although I have some swirls I don't care I mean this thing is so much better than it was before I mean it was just ridiculously dull And then I'll go ahead and put a little more.
Okay. And I will call that a day. And again, don't complain that it's not perfect. I don't need it to be perfect. It's not going to be in some showroom. I just wanted to just wanted to get rid of some of that. I mean, you can still see it, but they're a lot fainter than they were before. I could probably hit it again with a 10,000 grit again, but So one layer had to have been black, because that's underneath. Wow, I can't believe how deep these gouges are. Man. Kind of see that it's gotten better. At least it's buffed out. But man, you can barely feel the the gouges. But oof, these are really these are so deep that you can actually just scratch your run your nail through it, and it would just stop constantly across it. And with this guitar, I actually did it the other day on top you could probably see it a little bit you can see how it's kind of dull right there but I actually buffed all that also and oof I definitely I definitely treated this guitar terribly <laughs> throughout the years you know and I just you know if I can make it look a little better and that's great. Again, the goal here is not to make it look like it's going to be posted in NAM, but at least it's shiny and, and you can still see how deep it is there, but it's not as deep as it was all around. That was crazy, but all right, guys. But if you ever want to go ahead and remove some of your faint scratches, you can use this Meguiar's Scratch X. Again, if you get the kit, the kit comes with the buffer pad. And just make sure you use a brushless drill. It's just easier and smoother. And that is it, my friends. Hopefully, you will... Grab one of your guitars, and I would definitely suggest that if you have really light scratches, you could do it by hand. And if anything, you can use a 10,000 grit and a 5,000 grit. That way, um, you just remove just the fine lines. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Right? Is it over here? It's over here. And as usual, this guy will talk to you soon.